Cool, well, nice to be here in uh, downtown Charlottesville, about the closest uh, location where the birds and limes are deployed. Obviously, I've been researching um, and we've been talking about e-scooters as an emerging risk and a very um, popular uh, mo shared mobility device, but I've never been on one, so this is really, I have not either. really cool to be here. But definitely interested with all the discussions around and the, the news articles that you're reading. Yeah, because it's hard to uh, talk about something and not have experienced it. So. Uh, well, I think it provides an outstanding opportunity for each city or locality or public body to understand the, the consequences, but also the opportunities that they provide as far as, I mean, these things going around provide a great way to hop from one location to another with a breeze. Yeah, just un, unsure yet what some of the safety issues are going to be and, and uh, challenges for local government. The, uh, new legislation um, before the end of the year, by January 1st, 2020, um, you have to adopt an ordinance or the uh, the rental companies like Bird and Lime will have the ability to just come in mm -hmm. essentially unregulated. So We're going to look at both Bird and Lime scooters and it's great because down here in Charlottesville they have both companies that are operating here so yeah. there's there's both definite differences yeah. as far as the height, the speed, the brakes. Let's Maybe rent this one. Alright. Lime. Alright, bring up the app. Lime app. All right, never done this before. It's first time. Scan to ride. Scan to ride. You already set up payment card, everything. Enable camera. So press that. And then scan to unlock. It picks that up. How do you, which button? Oh, it's it unlocking. Oh, it does it automatically. Cool. Wear a helmet. Hey, check it out. <laughs> I got a helmet right here in my back pocket. All right. Do not ride on sidewalks other than as permitted by law. And that's one thing we'll talk about. Park with care. So as you see here, this is parked by... This is parked by at the, the bus edge stop. of the sidewalk, near the sidewalk. Oh, the bus stop. Don't ride down hills. Have a valid driver's license. You have to be 18. One rider per lime. And don't drink alcohol and ride. I agree. Unlocking. All right, you're up. Cool. <laughs> Made a fun noise. <laughs> My son and I have the same head size. <laughs> We're gonna unlock this bird so I can ride with Peter to show you. This is Lime, this is Bird. So same thing, it's an app as well. I agree to everything. <laughs> Just sign my life away. Things should not be on sidewalks. No, I agree. What are some of your, uh, from your first experience? Yeah, first experience, um, they have good pep. Um, it's definitely a good thing that they cannot exceed 20 miles an hour with the new uh, state code legislation. I'd say we were probably going maybe 10. I was gonna say 10, I think. Around well, 10 a, or so. Do you have a speedometer? Um, no, a this speedometer. one, the bird does not have a oh. um, indicator on it other than uh, auditory. It's, it's beeped at me, it's chirped at me a few yeah. times. Whereas yours, I have a little miles per hour. It'll tell you miles per hour and distance, whereas the bird does not. The brakes are 
pretty grabby. I have an um, actual bike grip brake. Oh wow, this one does not have. You have a button. It's a button, and it's a little hard because I'm, I guess, used to that. That is going to be a new requirement as well that there be lights. The hand signal requirement is going to be tough. Um, yeah, I don't know because this. while you're riding and, and your brakes here to try to go like this or you know with your left hand and take your foot off of the brake um, I think is is a bit of a challenge but uh, but lots of fun I can see why it's kind of contagious and caught on very rapidly I would say looking at these sidewalks around here with the you have brick pavers here in Charlottesville there is no way these things should be allowed on sidewalks no that would be a hard discussion to have a lot of local governments are gonna have to have come forward with the General Assembly passing the rules, sidewalks versus streets. They give you the choice, but I, I would avoid the sidewalks. Well, highly really. encourage the streets use only. Yeah, and even on the street, again with these small wheels, the bumps, you feel the bumps pretty hard. If you hit like a, a little water meter or something, um, it'll jostle you. So that, again, you gotta hang on, but but loads of fun. Oh, well, well, yeah. yeah, we got around pretty well, three or four blocks. So when you're done riding on your app, there's a symbol button that says in ride, you should be the same right there at the bottom lock. lock for the so lime. mine says in ride. Sorry, we're switched right now. I'm on the bird, you're on the lime. Because he's taller. <laughs> so to end, when you hit in ride, it's gonna ask you to take a picture, snap a photo of the out of the public way. So in this case, we're right behind this uh, light post and we're out of the public sidewalk area. Yeah, we'll make sure they're right on the end. So you just snap a picture, lock. End your ride. So, end ride. I took a picture and it says it's locking. And it's ride locked. complete. It made a noise. And we just spent a dollar fifty. Wow. Cool. That was a that was a fun <laughs> buck fifty. <laughs>